Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Tuesday, March the 1st, and here are today's top headlines. Kyiv under siege, Russia intensifying its attacks on the Ukrainian capital. Numerous early morning military strikes reported as a 40-mile-long convoy approaches the city. And a last-ditch effort to save opening day. What the Major League Baseball, uh, Major League Baseball is hoping the players will agree to today the, so the season can start on time. And record-breaking heat hits Southern California. The Orange City Council, well, it was hit the Orange City of Orange, I should say. Hottest in the nation. Okay, Let scratch that. You. The city in Orange County, that was the hottest yesterday. Let's forget that ever happened. Deal. Let's start the show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, early edition starts now. <laughs> Have rough starts every once in a while, but you know, you just get back on that horse crunch. Just to turn a phrase. Yes. Just to turn a phrase. Yes. That's all it was. <laughs> Good morning to you. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Hendrickson. We're glad you're with us. We'll check your roads with Ginger coming up. Uh, first, let's talk this weather, this wind, this uh, heat, all the good stuff. Uh, yeah, we knew the winds were coming, knew the heat was coming, but some spots certainly the heat was on. We're going to see another day like that, and then we'll start to see some cooler weather. Interesting to the Pacific Northwest, they're bracing for perhaps record rain and some uh, issues there as the old atmospheric river is affecting areas to the north. Will that eventually make its way down to the south by the weekend when we talk about some rain or at least to start the weekend? Uh, we'll check in on that, but right now it is all about the heat. We're actually turning it up up a little bit today as we look for 85 degrees downtown upper 80s perhaps 90 in the San Fernando Valley today same for inland Orange County the Inland Empire and the winds the wind advisory may have ended or at least it was supposed to end yesterday but we know the winds are still out there again today ginger we're going to talk about that coming up in just a few moments we'll send it over to you for now yeah i wonder if it's going to be like what aaron myers told us yesterday she says just put on a hat forget about doing your hair so that could be another day like today right it was a good way to explain it for sure you know we want to take you over to look at your drive say through um Roland Heights and some of those areas. Man, it escaped me for like a hot second. Oh, no. Uh, anyway, it's the fairway drive on ramp to the 60 West. It's just the left lane, but we do have the car that lost control and overturns about 45 minutes old, but we're waiting for the tow truck to get on scene. Main lines don't look affected, so that's some good news. Moving over to look at this. <gasps> Shaking, my goodness. So those winds are already here for our friends traveling the stretch of the 15 right at about Foothill Avenue. And you see it, right? There's some volume building, but the camera's shaking a lot. Man, you keep looking at that, you'll get dizzy. Then it stops for a while, so sometimes those are just those wind gusts. Uh, but we would anticipate some of those areas, especially for our friends, spots like Rancho Cucamonga, you always get those winds. We'll watch it here. We'll watch it in spots like, say, uh, the Santa Susana Pass, Porter Ranch, spots where we know usual suspects, right, for those strong winds. I'll send it back to you. Ginger, thank you. New evidence this morning of the strength of the Russian military. Satellite images show a Russian convoy in Ukraine 40 miles long. Armored tanks and military vehicles were seen north of Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, alongside burning buildings. Sunday, the convoy was just three miles long. Meantime, the violence continues in Ukraine. Ukraine's second largest city now being hit by Russian bombs. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live in our newsroom with more. Carlos, good morning. Chris, Megan, good morning. New video shows rockets striking the country's second largest city of Kharkiv, killing at least nine civilians. This as the United States is warning attacks could actually intensify this morning. The Ukraine now preparing for the biggest Russian offensive as a 40 mile military convoy makes its way towards Kyiv. The attacks ramped up.